what's going on in the city of Detroit. Skillman and United Way are working with the communities where our schools are located. I'm a train wreck in the morning. I'm up in the afternoon. Every now and then without warning, I can be really mean towards you. It's so clear that it frightened me. I remember waking up to a scream and the crying of a baby and slamming doors. With my equilibrium disturbed, I raced to the end of the same dark hall. Down the stairs from room to room into the dining room leading to the kitchen. Language, the language. It has been a total change in the school culture this uh, this year. And this is basically because we have high expectations, high standards for all students and we're designing support systems for them so that they can raise to the high standards. In this school, academically they do push you to do better. Every day they make everything just a little bit harder. Another symbol and another equation. I feel like I'm ready to take on the world. <laughs> I love art. I haven't had art since fourth grade. I love, absolutely love art. I always wanted it, but they never had it in my old school. What am I fearful about? We have the students for six hours in school with us, and then they go out, and I don't know what's happening to them outside. In my neighborhood, there's shootings and people getting killed and murdered over really dumb reasons, it just upsets me a lot. Like, I hear a lot of gunshots around the corner whenever I'm in my bed going to sleep, and so that just makes me feel so unsafe and uncomfortable being in that neighborhood. So I, I don't like that at all. Somebody give me an idea. If you had all power in your head right now, what would you do? I want to be a lot of things. People say I'm not going to be able to. I said I want to be a psychiatrist, an author, an actor, a photographer, a singer-songwriter. I want to do so much. And they said, you're not going to be able to do all of that. I said, I'm going to try. And I am going to try, because that's what I want to do. I feel like whatever challenge there is, I have to do it. And there is no turning back at all. They're not kids and they're not young adults. It's a very, ninth graders are very volatile. They're high maintenance. <laughs> when you're not sure what type of decision to make, think about how you would be treating your own child at home. And whatever you would be doing for your own child at home, that's what you need to do for the child at the school. And you can never go wrong with that. When I always didn't do right, I went left and he told me to go right. And I'm standing right here in the midst of my tears. Lord, I claim you to be the Lamb of God. I tried.